This is part two of a video on electric scooters for campers. If you have not seen part one, click on the card above. That'll take you to part one and you'll be linked back here to part two. So we're in this part, we're gonna do our road test, speed tests and all that. But before we get started, I need to talk about safety. I forgot to do that in the bike video. I always wear a helmet and I always wear jeans and shoes just in case. Now, I also will put a link below to a website where you can check to see what the rules and regulations and laws are in your community with regards to electric bikes and electric scooters. In North Carolina, we're pretty lenient here. Here. there is no state laws on electric scooters and bikes but the electric bikes do fall under the state law which says in order to go on the highways they can't have more than I think it's 500 or 750 watts can't go faster than 20 miles per hour so the and cheer video on electric bike that'll be fine all right so first of all put my foot on here give it a little kick and then I'm putting the throttle down and it will go up to about nine or 10 miles per hour. There it goes. And I went ahead and I turned the con cruise control on in the settings. So when you hold the throttle somewhere for five seconds steady, it will kick on. And so I'm not having to use any throttle to hold my speed. So it's going about 10 miles per hour. Very leisurely, this is gonna give you your best distance. Now, when I did my firmware update, there was a change. Uh, there used to be a setting for the brake, so um, you could, it was low, medium, and high braking, and I, you, you could set it. That setting is gone now, so when you want to brake, just ease into this thing lightly, because this, oh, this thing can brake. It will stop you. Um, what they replaced it with is a coaster setting, an energy recovery setting, and what that is, is that's actually on the throttle. So what's going to happen is when you let you can the setting is when you let go of the throttle it the coasting will do some energy recovery but that has the effect of braking so i set that on low so what's going to happen is uh when i let off the throttle let's say i let off the throttle now and i'm coasting downhill it's going to do very minimal energy recovery unless i'm at 19 miles per hour i have found if i'm 19 miles an hour and I let off the throttle, it's automatically gonna start doing some, some regen to keep me not going faster than 20 miles per hour. So I think that's a pretty good safety feature um, and keeps you from running away, going downhill and running away. I, I've, I've never had the occasion of going down a steep hill and the brake not being able to stop me, the regen brake, and having, I don't know if you saw it, a white squirrel just ran across the way there those are an endangered species indigenous only to my area and washington state <laughs> uh, so i've never had it run away from me all right so with the cruise control now i'll show you here so now i'm going to hold it down or hold it wherever i want it's going to beep and now i can let go and just cruise now let's talk stability so on the electric bike you have large wheels and you get a gyroscopic effect. So you're going to have really good stability. In fact, uh, on an electric bike, you could even take your hands off the wheel. Don't do it, but it'll still stay straight. We don't have that effect on a scooter. On a scooter, you have small wheels, so you don't get that. So you have to be more knowledgeable about your balance. So you have to balance left to right. It's not difficult and you could get your hang of it pretty quick. But as you can see here, it's very easy to do this. You couldn't do that easily on a bicycle. Now, on the other hand, what you'd wanna do is you wanna keep both hands on the steering wheel. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and do cruise control here. If I'm careful, I can take one hand off, but I don't recommend it. It's really considerably, you just it just doesn't feel well balanced and, and as much control. I would always keep both hands on the wheel or on the steering, on the, steering on the handlebars. So this is a great leisurely pace very relaxing and i think when i you know don't worry on the stability side that's part of the fun of a scooter so you can do things like this you can really have some once you get comfortable you can start you know doing a lot of things that you do on a skateboard but with a lot more control and a lot more stability let's see if i can crash down here and do this Whoa! <laughs> i mean it can get out of control but keep both hands on but you can do fun like stuff or you can just sit here and stand up and just really enjoy the beauty of it this is going to go over bigger holes and cracks than a skateboard but 
you know, if you drive into a 12 inch pothole, this is not gonna fix your problem. Now, right now we're going uphill and in this low speed, it doesn't have enough power to get up the hill. Okay, in order to change modes, what you do is a double tap. So here is, is uh, eco mode. Here's medium mode. And another double tap turns it red to sport mode. So let's put it in medium mode. And let's give it a push and see if we can get up this hill. Starting uphill is not very nice for it. <laughs> you can see it is not happy about this. All right, so let's go back down the hill and give it a fair shot. This is a pretty steep hill. All right, so let's punch it downhill. As you can see, 16, 17 miles per hour. It's going to make sure I don't do more than 20. Hit the brake here. And let's get a run going uphill. See if we can do a little better. There we go. All right, 11, 12, heading uphill. So in the eco mode, you're gonna struggle, struggle with going up hills. But as you can see in the medium mode, we're doing great. Does lose speed. Now the neat thing about the electric bike is you can pedal and help it up the hill. But we still have a stronger mode to go. Now here's a crazy thing. This actually has a higher speed and a longer distance than the electric bike and then most electric bikes. When you compare electric bikes and look at the stats, even the high dollar ones, this thing outperforms them. So in medium mode right here, the GPS, the little graphic you have is tied to the GPS. And the problem I saw in the last video was the GPS signal was bouncing all around and sometimes was not giving accurate readings when I was in these trees. So I'll continue to kind of read out what my nine bot tells me the speed is. But when we're out in the wide open spots, you should get an accurate reading. All right, easily up and over the bridge. No problem, suspension feels good. I'm gonna hold it down. Let's get the cruise control to get set. I'm showing 16 miles an hour. So this is a nice, fun, energetic ride easily around the corner here. Just a lot of fun. The tires feel good. A smooth ride really can enjoy there always keep though since we're not on the bicycle it's a little more important to keep an eye on the pavement to look for uh, it can do branches and some gravel uh, watch out for sand watch out for big holes uh, since it just doesn't have the big wheelbase okay so we're coming up here to a big turn and I kind of feel safe enough to take it pretty quick. This is a pretty good uphill. It's handling real well, dropping down to 13 miles per hour. It really did quite well on that. Now this is a pretty steep downhill, so I'm gonna dis dis disengage the cruise control with a little tap. And I'm gonna sneak up here about 10 miles an hour. And then at the top of the hill, I'm just gonna let go and coast. Oops. All right, here we go. Nine, 10, so not too bad. I'm gonna give it full power to get back up the hill. Let's go ahead and floor it here in medium mode. All right, the cruise control just kicked on. So we're doing 16 miles an hour. Now this was our top speed on the electric bike. This is medium speed for the ES4. This would be a little more than top speed on the ES1 and ES2. It doesn't go this fast. There's a manhole cover coming up. Wanted to show you. You hear a little noise, but it went over just fine. All right. Now I kind of want to show you about the high speed going downhill. So I'm going to go ahead and run to the top of this little hill here. It's really, it's a long downhill grade. So let's get here at the top. And what I'm going to do is set it in high speed, floor it down the hill, and I want you to see how it'll kind of, it normally goes up to 20 miles an hour, and then uh, it'll start backing off and then doing some regen braking to keep you at a safe speed. So I'm going to double tap here, and now it has a red S. 
Give it a kick. Woo! <laughs> Actually burned a little rubber on that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and floor it. Woo, Lord, this thing has torque. Let's go ahead and punch it. Dang, this thing's fast. There's 19, now there's 20. At 20, it's not gonna allow this to go any faster, even if I'm going downhill. It's gonna start by backing off on the throttle, and if it's still going, if it's still trying to get over 20, then what's gonna happen is it'll start regen braking. I'm going over some small twigs and small sticks. So I don't recommend high-end mode like this unless you're on a really smooth surface. You've had a lot of experience, you've got your safety gear on, and you're really keeping an eye on the road. Also, I'm wearing sunglasses. You're gonna to need to wear eye protection because I caught a bee to the face uh, last week on the gas bike. Just caught it on the cheek and I can tell you it was very painful and if it had been in my eye, it would have been pretty bad. All right, so I'm, I'm throttling down now. But this thing can move. Now in high speed, of course, I'm using a lot of energy, so I'm pulling down my battery, so I'm not gonna get that distance. So it just depends how you wanna use it. I say I like to get distance, but you know, when you get all these things, you can't help yourself. So here's a little quick downhill with an uphill. And on high speed, once you, when you're in the, the sport mode, you've got a lot more power. You got more speed, but you've also got access to more power to get up the hill. That's, I think, a big help for having your feet where one is in front of the other. I think that makes a big safety difference on the braking. Also, if you accidentally jerk, well, they smooth that out. That's much better. Um, before the firmware, if you jumped on this, it would just throw the power at you. And it could kind of feel like it was jumping, jumping forward on you and kind of be unsettling. But I see they've really smoothed that out. Like, I'm gonna, okay, let's brake. Floor it. Yeah, that's much, they've smoothed that out a lot. Easing into the brake more and more, hard. So, works great. And if it's not, if it's an emergency stop, use your back foot and put it on the back wheel brake. <laughs> All right, let's punch it up higher speed. Going uphill, going over some big cracks. I've got it floored in sport mode, going up a steep grade, dropping down to 15 miles per hour. Going over the top here. Oh, big turn, letting off a little bit. Whoa, letting off again. <laughs> <Wee -hee. laughs> These things are fun. And every time I get on it, like everything else, I just get more confidence. Picking up some wind speed here. You just really, over a bicycle, you just really feel it more. It's just such an interesting feeling. So we're cruising here at 19. This is top speed. I'm on cruise control going 19 miles an hour. And it feels really fast when you start doing this, but the more you do it, the more you get used to it. All right, we're gonna pull over here and do a wrap up. 20 miles an hour, <laughs> sweet. All right, we're gonna sit over here and uh, wrap it up. So the advantages of this, you know, it's different, different advantages. It's incredibly compact. Uh, it's not as stable as a bike. It's very fast and has an amazing distance. So let's check here at our stats. There's 80% of one battery left and 79% of the second battery left. It says that we, I've, I've only gone two and a half miles. Average speed 14 miles an hour. Uh, it should give me an estimate on remaining range here. It might take a while for it to calculate. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it calculates I have 22 miles. So um, I was running it at high speed, going up and down with hard braking. So I've used up about, uh, I only went two and a half miles, but it reduced the battery more than two and a half miles. So that just goes to show you if you want to get the best distance, uh, you need to just keep it in the eco mode and on flat land. So, but hey, this is about having fun too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been a fun series. So what we're going to look into in the next video, I think we're going to kick it up to something even more radical like a gas powered bicycle. 
um, should be pretty cool. So I hope you'll join me with the series. Uh, down below, you'll see a table of contents to all the videos in this whole series. If you'd like to check on that and jump around, I recommend the very top one, which gives an overview for everything we're gonna be looking at. So there'll be a link at this one to the next uh, series, which should be on a gas-powered bicycle. For Thanks for coming. Hope to see you next time.